Yo, what is going on, NLC Live? My name is Turner, and I'm one of the guys on staff at GLR, and I do 412, and I also do creative. Uh, it's a blast. I have such an amazing time. I love my life. So cool. So, we're going to be hanging out in Genesis today, in Genesis 2, verse 25. And uh, I love this verse. I chose it. And the man and his wife were both naked and were not ashamed. Let's pray. <laughs> no, <laughs> just joking. So I love this verse because I've got an incredible wife. She's beautiful. She's amazing. She's wonderful. Jade, I love you. Um, and we've also got four incredible kids. So it, it's not going where you think it's going our life is so crazy, you guys. I'm telling you, so insane. So I'm in full-time ministry. You know, in ministry, we wear a lot of hats. We've got four kids, two kids in school, two kids in preschool. My wife, she runs um, a few resale stores, and she's in ministry. Crazy life. Um, this verse means a lot to me because uh, the word... So, and the man and his wife were both naked and were not ashamed. That word naked um, doesn't necessarily mean to have no clothes on. The word naked means to be um, completely open, completely honest, com completely pure. Uh, um, it means that you are completely unashamed. Um, it means totally open and exposed as a person before God and before man. Um, so that referencing my wife, to be completely exposed and open. So he, here's the thing. I've kind of rambled, but the thing that I want you to understand is this verse, it, it, it means that I need to be completely honest with my wife and completely open uh, and very very adamant about being communicative um, in our marriage and around our kids, not stopping communication, not stopping openness. Uh, when things bother me, when things get on my nerves, be open about it. And, and whenever things get on her nerves, whenever I mess up or do something that she doesn't like and she wants to respond back to me, I've got to be open to it. I can't be defensive. And so it's almost like, I've got to be completely naked and not ashamed to receive correction from my wife and, and the same for her. And this is huge for us. We're going through right now on how to receive. Um, when, when I frustrate her, she has the right to be frustrated. Uh, and whenever she lets me know, I can't uh, be defensive. I've got to be exposed and I've got to be unashamed to receive that correction. And so this is huge for marriages. And I, I think also, you can go down this way, I think a lot of marriages today are based off the physicality um, of a relationship, and it's not about the patience part of a relationship. People are um, so inundated in uh, the physical part that they get married and they really didn't uh, sign up for what they wanted because it wasn't based off of the principles of Christ and being unashamed. Uh, so if you got a guy who's trying to get you uh, in bed, then you need to get rid of him and find you a guy that's gonna love you, that's gonna be honest and open. And I think this is a great principle to, to put the foundation of a marriage. Amen? Let me pray for us. God, we love you. We thank you that your word is... it it challenges us to, to find the deeper meaning because uh, I think this verse can be taken out of context. But Father, I, I pray, Lord, that we would allow ourselves to be exposed and, and completely open and honest to our wives or our husbands. That when correction comes from our spouse, that we are receiving it uh, with love and with grace and we don't uh, just completely disregard it because maybe our feelings are in the way. Father, get rid of our feelings, get rid of our, um, our desire to be right and our, our emotions uh, to always have to get the last word. We thank you for um, 
we just thank you that we can we can be a, a, a couple that can get back to a place of innocence, the purest form of innocence, and allow us to communicate and allow us to be open, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. NLC Live, I love you. I hope this cha uh, challenged you and hope it encouraged you. Deuces. Thank you.